let's go over a notes payable. More specifically, a discounted note, because there is a difference between the two. Our examples here, feel free to screen capture or take a picture of it. Quest Corporation, they issued a 90-day 5% discounted note for $60,000. Issued means borrowed. In this problem, we'll calculate the proceeds, or how much cash we get when we borrow it, and we'll do the journal entries for the issuance and the payment back uh, for the note. All right, with these problems, we have to use the interest formula to be able to record the journal entries. The interest formula is interest equals principal times rate times time. The principal amount is how much you borrowed from the lender. So amount borrowed. The rate is the cost to borrow that money. In other words, it's the interest they charged you to borrow that money for a certain amount of time. So the cost to borrow money. Usually it's expressed uh, as a uh, percentage. So you might want to change that percentage into a decimal before putting that into your calculator. Next we have the time. This is the length of the notes or the loan. The time is always expressed in years, so always make sure to read problems carefully. Because in this case, it's actually given to you in days, so the loan is in days, so you'll have to create a fraction. You'll see what we're talking about as I go through the calculations. So let's calculate the interest for this loan, or this, more specifically, this discounted loan. So your interest equals your principal, which in this case is $60,000. You're going to multiply that by 5% or 0 0.05 times 90 days. Again, that's days, so you have to turn it or express it in years. And how you do that is you put that those number of days over 360 days. It's 360 days because that's what the financial world uses uh, to give a more rounded number. That gives us uh, $750 of interest. We'll need that calculation for our journal entries. So the first thing we're going to journalize is the issuance of the note, or when we borrowed the note. It's important to note here that if it's a discounted note, the creditor will always, or the lender will always, take the interest from you right away. So the first debit is to cash, we have another debit to interest expense right away because again we have to pay the interest up front uh, and that interest is what we calculated which is $750 and then the notes payable what the contract says is going to be $60,000 the difference between the two is what you're leaving uh, the bank with or wherever you borrowed it from so there it is $60,000 minus $750 that will give you the amount of the proceeds that you leave the bank with. In this case, it's $59,250. Some important points there. Your notes payable, your liability is 60, but you're only leaving the bank with $59,250. That's what a discounted note gives you. Now let's do the second set of entries. This is later into the future, 90 days into the future. We get a debit notes payable for the entire $60,000 so we can clear out that liability. Next, we're going to credit cash for $60,000. Notice that we did not uh, debit interest expense because we did that at the beginning. And that's a discounted note. 